Umbra got a little bit of an update here. Again, again. Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, and entertainment. How many times will one dissenter die before accepting their fate? I'm really curious to know what this is. Like, just this whole area. Duviri. you once more. How many times will one fool die? How much will one proud human soul suffer? Before bending a knee to the greatness of their eternal king. Citizens of Duviri, it is a well-known fact to each and every one of us, yes, that the unbent knee must be broken. And like, I'm fully aware that he's in the void. And clearly there's a connection there with... ...with his innate Tenno power. But these Warframes seem sentient. They don't- they, they seem separate. They seem unrelated to the Tenno. Like, they're, they're, like, original Warframes that, um, uh, <clears throat> well, that's actually maybe probably not true because he connected with them, but it seemed like the transference there, but it seemed like the transference, I don't know, because there was three of them there. Oh! Hey, Smeena, thank you. Pedro Pascal. Hey, Bobby, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all very interesting. I, that feeling you're stuck. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Spinning last night. inside your little wheel. Only to find you're right back where you started. It would be hilarious if this third time that I've started this. And so it goes, day by day, year by year, until you're dead inside. You feel nothing. It's clearly where you landed after you're the Zaharimon disaster and everything prisoner, happened. Trapped in the spiral of someone else's dream. Thanks, Capitan. Appreciate that. It's such gorgeous singing there. Hey, Razzataz. Begin again. And clearly there's some sort of and not just him. Agitation Me! with Thrax. We both had enough of you! I love the shading of, of the oscillation Max. between color and And he clearly gets bored of dying all the time. Wait, that's the exact same way. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's the same way that he that our operator died from Balas. Wait, oh, I just put that together. This is interesting. That's the exact same way the Bala stabbed the operator. And then obviously this is Lotus's hand because we get the idol on energy. I 
I don't know why she clings to his hand. Maybe she clings to Tenno energy or something. I love the that the way that the music ascends there with this like fulfillment of like power and arrival. You know what I mean? Like it that's it's like it's like saying I'm here, let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda speed rush this. Also, hi new folks on Twitch and everybody that's new in uh, on YouTube. Nice to have you, nice to have folks that were here yesterday. Why not? I'm also sort of intrigued by the opera singing. Uh, it's so cool. Damn it. Oh. All right, so they're calling me the king. I think I think the operatic singing makes sense for this like sort of Tuscan like Roman. Let's go. You know, it feels it feels very like you know, sort of like Roman SPQR sort of time period, um, which is interesting. So clearly the whistling, as I just theory craft here, the whistling clearly is the man in the in the wall. I thought it was I thought it was the drifter calling out to the operator when he you know honestly I wonder if that any of that was actually the drifter. And it wasn't the man in the wall sort of premeditating everything to get them to meet. Uh, it's very intriguing to me. Can't stop thinking about this game. Genuinely like I woke up and I was thinking about Warframe. I'm obsessed. Literally, I ended the stream at 100 hours, and uh, now it's at 103. Go, go. All right, and this is the same thing that we see. Oh no, it looked like the same. It's got a similar sort of void structure that we see in the Zaramon quest. And these are the starting frames. So we have a false start. So is this his awakening? Right now, you're thinking, is this real? Or some fevered dream? I'm wondering, why the hell this all feels so damn familiar? Emotions, they guide where others fail. The king's spiral takes away time, experience. You don't seem like the others. I am Teshin. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Yes. And this is, well... It was you that named her, remember? These have such cool connotations now that I know what all this is. Lua, I miss the ebbing of that pensive light. Here, we spiral in the constant glare of an absurd purgatory. You need to break free. I'm just so tired. The figurine you pulled from the paradox. The lost toy of a temperamental child. You need only to find the rest of its pieces. You can't be serious. You can keep the doll. I've got to get as far away from this as I can. You no, know you cannot run from here. With Thrax on the throne. But by all means, try again. I'll even give you my blades. Equip sun and moon. Oh, fuck! Oh! Until the next spiral, then. 
That's such cool spaghetti western music somehow. Did someone make a new friend? Trying to make me jealous, are you? I'll find him soon enough. I like her range Didn't so much. I warn you? This is fucking impressive. The oral worm loaded. Anger personified. Quick, you must find a way to the mainland. Fly? Oh shit. Is it a hover or is it a fly? Oh, it's a fucking fly. Wow. <laughs> You're thinking, is this real? Hmm. Some fevered dream. All right, Teshin. I'll try it your way. You remember. Good. Now, we can begin. Our friends. Brought here by the paradox. In the world beyond the wall, they were the weapons of a warrior caste called the Tenno. World beyond the wall. I suspect your hand may offer a way to control them as they did. Choose. Well, in honor of my my starter back in the day on the PlayStation. That's fucking gross. <laughs> God, this music is terrific. And they say opera doesn't move people. Relax. Let your mind adjust to the dissociation. Transference. Also, this looks beautiful. Let's go, fast boy. I missed. I don't ever wall dash. Oh, that's how you do it. The King's Reach is weaker here in the Undercroft. On the surface, I suspect this Warframe would be a liability, attracting his every worm. But here, you can roam free and revel in its power. So the men are in unison with the lower piano, you hear that? That's really cool. Hold on. You hear that? That's cool. And then we switch into this like guitar thing too. It, it's such a power fantasy piece of music there. Man, this music is so cool because it really makes you feel like insanely powerful. But it's also kind of like almost like horror music in a way. It's nice. I suspect the paradox is their attempt to help us. The Tenno? Really? Reflection. <laughs> no, no vacations. Hmm. 
I suppose... Saturn, maybe? I... Oh, feeling better? That Warframe took a greater toll on you than I expected. What if the rabbit is Who the Lotus's consciousness? If you are recovered, we hey, Alex, must begin at once to seek the other pieces of Thrax's figurine. I expect they will manifest the <laughs> same as paradoxes on the surface. Gear up, look around, and tell me when you are ready. Another day, girl. Another blessed day. That ambient sound is so good because you hear the whistling of the the wind mixed in with the anger and Dominus. Because I know that uh, obviously the Duviri Paradox music is uh, reflected of his moods and his feelings. I find it interesting that here we get this like red veil of anger and rage, and then we get the Zeremon the front and center. Here, maybe upside down. But up there, up there, things are always as they were meant to be. I don't know what that means. And then over here, we have his other, his like f form. I'm, I'm loving this uh, black and white element. That's him, Fraxis and Falsa, my replacement. For two pins, I'd come down there and smash his face in myself. What happened? Bleed? Some slice? Was there slice damage? I suppose not even you can lose all the time. Yesterday I didn't know what slice damage was. You know why? You know why I know? I did some research. I watched 60 minutes. 60 minutes of mod videos today. But the boy was chosen. Why is this always happening to me? What is wrong with me? Am I not good enough for all of you? I love the- oh shit. How the fuck is anybody going to tell me that this is an actual opera singer? You heard the story, chat. Remember how I got into an argument on, uh... I got into a, a heated discussion on, uh, the Warframe YouTube channel? Listen, I don't know everything. Mm, I fucking know opera. <laughs> Return to me when you are ready. Ah, so the story in Duviri is putting together the doll. I guess we're born with anger. Oh! An instinct like any other. Like squinting at the sun oh. or flinching from a burn. But some of us... That's the Zeremon. Maybe we learn it. <gasps> it's a kid from the Zeremon? Oh my god! Easy. I have you. Don't. Holy shit. You saw that ship in the sky? Wow. The Zeremon. Our child king. Wow. Must be one of those who was abandoned there. Ateno. You said the Tenno were trying to help me. This Teradox stuff. Now you're saying Thrax is one of them? He doesn't seem too helpful. The history I know. That Zeremin ship returned from the void, bringing with it the extraordinary power the Tenno command. But here is a different path, I suppose. A difference in parallel. A paradox in itself. It's funny, in this music you hear like what, what could have been. I think like the harp represents the innocence of the child. 
But then here you get some dissonance, and I think that that probably represents, like, the fall from grace that this child had. That's just all headcanon, right? But, like, you hear how, like, it's, like, a, f a fall from grace. You hear how it's this, like, th this could have been a better thing. This could have been preventable. This could have been positive. It's cool. The world above changes every day following what Thrax feels. Ready yourself for the next day and consider what you have learned. This right here. Battle. It seems that Thrax woke on the right side of his crib today. <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, I like that tension we get our like father figure back. Sickening. Whoa. Remember, the joy he feels is not lacking in danger. Wow. This is this is Thrax's world. We're just living in it. Look at that. Free game. I like meatballs. <laughs> Don't we all? Also, something worth noting is the way that the soprano is essentially acting as a separate time, uh, a separate instrument. Rather than acting like a uh, soloist, she's actually acting as a, a separate and isolated uh, connected instrument. So what I mean by that is that Oh, Keith. She, she is an instrument. She's not a soloist. Yeah. See, so there, she's moving at the same time as the instruments are. And then she gets moments where she goes up and she's a soloist. But but the way that it's layered, and she's embedded within the layering of the music. She's not a soloist. It's pretty cool. Oh, God. That's fun. I love that they don't limit movement either. Like, uh, you want to fly? Okay, you can. You hear how all of a sudden, because we're talking about darkness, now the music's like, oh. What I'd like to know is how we're in this child's, like... Oh yeah, speaking of the Zarimon, here it is. Wait, this looks like the, uh... This looks like the room. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this is the classroom. Look at the... These... Because I stopped and paid attention to these the other day. Wow. I love her drifting off there. Oh. So these are just like stories? Whoa, fucking. This is enough to hold the paradox at bay, but the environment itself will fight to choke you out. Life support. Let's go. It's so funny that a couple days ago I didn't know what how to do the life support nodes, the survival nodes. Now I'm over here like... Now I'm like, give me your fucking life support. Really like this male choir here. The emphasis on uh, doubling is really interesting because the doubling is so effective at... at... Uh, enhancing emotion. and enha I also like that we get some significant EDM uh, synthesized qualities in here, too. You hear the tension building? That's so crazy. That's all singers. Wow, that's wild. So satisfying. Joy wear off on you. <laughs> How did Tesha know about kidding. You think I'm not paying attention? You think I don't know what you're up to? My ducks are searching. We will find your nasty little den soon enough. Look how big I am. <laughs> Our oh. whole lives, we run toward it. 
Some thing, someone. Some wavering oasis of joy and contentment. Sad thing is, most happiness seems to come by accident. Maybe it's not about it, getting it, but letting it. Oh. are giving you something as these emotions flow through you you take from him his singular power over the world I don't want sharesies I want out <laughs> but look the dormazon it's lit up now I feel like we're just living in this kid's mind and somehow the void he created like a safe space for himself Let's get the mood right. Well, shit. You hungry? This was a terrible idea. I really shouldn't have done that. Wait! This is where we meet the kid! Hey, Grok, thank you. So this is where we meet the kid. So, although it didn't look like that, obviously, but so that means, okay, I know what this means. It means at one point we're gonna meet the kid. Okay, yes. We're going to meet the kid here and we're gonna connect to a new war. So it's, it, it, it's a prequel, but it's also concurrent. Yeah, I know when I say kid, I mean me, but uh, for the lack of a better term, I'm saying kid. Who is this new friend of yours, anyway? I made you! I kept you safe all this time. They're nothing I can't be! Ignore him. Play out the day. Let him see that his control has weakened. You're taking them down to my level. Nice to there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Take over bid. Oh shit. The winds blow fiercely. The rains do not relent. <laughs> You're beneath me! And you always will be. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Was that the dragon? To me, it sounds like Dominus Thrax doesn't want to be alone. No, Lua? <clears throat> Was that the Lotus? Well, don't, don't answer that. Nothing's worse than anger, right? It burns your lungs. It ashes the trees. But you can see it, right? And after it passes, Maybe something new sprouts up. A resentment. Resentment is desolation. It salts the soil so that nothing ever grows again. Didn't see it coming, did you? Huh? That I was just using you. Huh? You think there's some magic land outside of here? Oh, there. Is is war and suffering. Understand? I think so. 
came to his bedside, one by one, and his firstborn knelt there. And the old man said, My child, my child, why be your eyes so dry? And the firstborn said, So that I might be strong, father. And so the old man gave to them the deeds for all his lands. This game makes me mouth breathe so hard because I'm like, what? In his second born, he said again, My child, my child, why be your eyes so dry? And his second child said, I shed no tears, father, for I chose now to remember only the joy you made of my life. And so unto him, the old man gave his family heaven. When his last child had entered, he said again, Yeah, it is hard, a little child, hard to concentrate. My child, you were my favorite of all. Why show you no feelings of me? What did he say? What did the child say? And the last okay. child said to him, I feel nothing. For it was I who has killed you Okay Where is he? Don't you worry. That's cool cuz that's Tessian's form. Come swiftly in my kingdom. You didn't see that. Wait, is Teshin the rabbit? I haven't met Baru. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that today. All caves are banished by my decree. Whoa! I've never seen you like this. 
are you ready to fight? It makes me so happy. Whoa! Rage. But why are you doing this? What a spectacle. Yeah. Wow, neat. You never cared this much for me. I want to know their relationship here. I so don't fully get this. Oh my god, the choir! Transference! Wake up, Tenno. shame that we never get to protect Teshin. Wow. These big, powerful What the fuck, bro? Transference, baby. <laughs> it's not coming back. It is a shame that we never actually get to save Teshin. It's like Teshin was doomed to die in every scenario. I can't believe this game is free.
They called him the king when we first rode on the horse. Fevered dream. You did it. You took control. I always had it. Thrax didn't make this place. I did. You did. But you reset it. You gave it all back to him. Why? I guess it felt like a good trait. Hmm. So, what's next? Those beyond the wall have helped you. You will need to repay that debt. But you've earned your freedom. A way through the paradox and out of the spiral. Be warned, you will not be as you are now, but as you were then. Do you see it? The other side. What will you do? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Uh... Oh... Oh... Uh... I mean, I can always go back. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll enter the ori- right. Sometimes you get stuck. Sometimes you go numb. The color drains away. You stop trying. And that just feeds the spiral going down. Maybe you'll get lucky one day. You see yourself in the mirror and snap out of it. But for some of us, it takes more. A friend, a stranger, a story. Uh, Helping hand. The Dom Dominus is a void construct, not a real person. Dominus is the villain in the book, and we made him a reality. Right, we could have. The Drifter created Deviri based on a child's book. Yes. I saved tension. That was really sweet. Deviri was Drifter's creation, which should make Dominus one of the creation, if not. Maybe based off of himself. Void messes with emotions. Orokin created a storybook for the Zarman crew to help them regulate emotions. Zarman goes wrong. Do you remember the old war, Operator? And Void manifests Order seems the world to have of the misplaced book. Those the you who stayed got pretty fucked up. He created Duviri to cope with being so long in the Zarman. Yeah. 
because of the begin again is just because every day it passes and it's the same, right? Drifter created Duviri accidentally as a coping mechanism. Thrax has the, had the mentality of the Drifter as a child, right? That's so beautiful. There are aspects of it that that Teshin is also the Teshin who died, but the Drifter doesn't know that Teshin was killed by Era.